Hey, welcome to part two. Uh, in this uh, video, let's go ahead and just uh, create UVs for our flower that we created in our uh, previous video. So um, one of the things that uh, make sure that you combine your geometry by using this button here, and then you want to uh, clear your history by using this button here. And then in the outliner, just make sure that uh, you have everything cleaned out and that's just um, it's just gold flower, right? So one other thing we can do is if we position our flower above the grid, um, we can also uh, reset our uh, transform. So everything is scaled to one and the location is uh, zero. All right, so, all right, so let's jump into our uh, UV editor. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my uh, flower and instead of doing uh, automatic, if you do automatic, it will give you something like this. Let's manually unwrap this uh, to our liking. So the first thing that I like to do is just, I like to project this from the side and you can look at the axes here. You have X, Y, and Z. Let's project it from the front. So I'm just gonna go to Z and say apply. And I'm left with something like this. If I press W, I can move it away from this box here, which is zero to one. So you wanna make sure that you lay out, lay out your EVs in this space right here, right? All right, so let's begin. So the first thing we're gonna do is, let's do something really simple. Let's go ahead and grab our, simply double click on our um, stem. And you can see how it looks in the UV editor, right? So one of the things I'm gonna do is click on this button here to isolate my view. So I'm only looking at the stem. And next I'm just gonna to go to edge mode and double click on one of the edges and you can see how the whole edge is being selected. Now if I go to my UV editor, I can go to cut and sew and just do a cut. Then as soon as the cut was made, you can see this kind of uh, line became stronger. Now, if I double click on it, I can do a unfold, press W, move it uh, aside. Well, you can always do a uh, orient if you wanted to. Uh, you can also press E, hold down the J key and snap it if you want it to be a certain way. If we wanted to make this uh, if we want to unfold this further, we could do a straighten UV. So maybe let's set this to like 40 and do a straighten UVs and see what that does. And you can see maybe this would be a easier, uh, easier for us to paint in uh, Substance Painter. So the difference is this is more organic where it's flowing and, cre and creating and it's holding the shape of the geometry but this would be uh, more difficult to paint if you wanted to apply something um, more um, seamless, right? It just comes down to matter of preference at this point. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a straight new Vs. And one thing you can always check if you want to, you can always select the edges and do an unfold to make sure uh, that these edges are not holding additional geometry. So in my case, it, I'm not. So I'm just gonna control Z. So just a clean, uh, beautiful uh, UV piece here. So I'm gonna move it aside. Let's go ahead and jump out of the isolation mode. And now we have these, uh, next let's do these two leaves. Now they're exactly the same. So technically we should be able to overlap them, right? So let's go ahead and move them into position, kind of take a look. I think what I'm going to do is let's just grab the, let's just grab the bottom first. So I'm going to go to the bottom one and just select all of these faces here. Now, technically I could unfold one of them and just once it's done, duplicate it to the other side. But this is uh, simple enough where I can do two at the same time. I'm okay with a little extra work. So I'm gonna select just the bottom 
I'm holding down the shift key and simply clicking on each face to tell Maya which faces I would like to unfold next. Go back to the UV editor and just um, from the planar view, I'm going to project it from the top, which is Y, and say apply. So this is the top, top projection of those leaves. I'm going to unfold them. All right. And next thing what I would like to do is let's go ahead and select both of them and do a stack similar. And that's going to stack them on top of each other. I'm not going to worry about the scale at this point yet. So let's just move them to position. Again, if you, um, if you double click on this and press W, you can see that you're only moving one of them. If you want to select both of them, you have to make a selection around both, then press W. That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is coming here and clicking on this button here, which is a shell mover. So it's going to actually allow you to select. If you just select just the edge of it, it's going to select the entire shell, but it's also going to grab both of them. So now if we press W, you can see I'm moving both of them. So this button is very, very helpful if you're dealing with multiple stacked uh, shells when it comes to uh, moving. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, do these next. I'm just going to unfold them. And I am uh, realizing that they are uh, different size when you just unfold it. So let's project it first. I'm going to select this again. And I'm going to uh, using my planner view, project them from the top. And this is going to give me the same scale for both. Now I'm going to unfold it and do a stack. Press E. Just at this point, it doesn't really matter. I'm just, uh, just trying to stay organized. Press W, move it out of the way and move on to the next piece. All right. So the next piece uh, are going to be these guys up here. Or maybe uh, let's get this, uh, let's get these out of the way. So I'm just going to actually hold on the shift key. I'm just going to double click on the faces, select them all and press W in my uh, UV editor and just move them to the center, right? And let's right, go ahead so and click once on once you um, isolate them. Let's go ahead and make a seam. So I'm going to just simply double click and create a seam. And I'm going to do the same on all of them. Now, what I would like to do is I want to make sure that they're all the same. So I'm actually going to double click, but I'm going to make sure that I'm double clicking on each one in the same place. So I'm going to double click on this one in the middle, hold on the shift key, double click. Do it again, shift, double click, shift, double click. So I'm making the slice in all the same spots. And when I do that, you can see the uh, edge flow of each uh, element is exactly the same. All right, so I'm happy with this. I'm gonna come to my UV editor and press cut. Go to faces, select my um, everything, do unfold. And let's do a stack. So it comes down to two of them. All right, so now uh, let's go ahead and see why there's two different ones. So I'm gonna select uh, this one and uh, I can see these are all the tops. And if I select this one, I can see that these are all the bottoms. So these are not gonna overlay because they are uh, sl slightly different. But if you wanted to, if you know that they are similar enough, uh, technically, we could manually overlay them. Let's try and see if that works. I'm going to press uh, R and just stretch it a little. And then press W and move it into a position. And press E if you need it to rotate it. And between W, E and R, you could technically align it pretty perfect. Uh, to what it needs to be. So in my case, I think I'm going to uh, 
see if I can uh, overlay them because I really feel like if I'm if I paint just this spot here, it should just cover all of these. So it's just kind of a, my own personal hack, but that's one of way of doing it. If you uh, prefer them to be different, you can always do uh, unstack shells, and that will just line them up. You can stack them back up, and that's just going to do the bottoms and the tops. Um, but I'm going to undo and just leave it together press R, you can change the scale, but we're not going to worry about that yet. I'm going to move it into position. Uh, let's jump out of the isolate mode and let's see what else is left. Now, right now I'm seeing the entire flower, but I did uh, UV'd or unwrapped certain pieces. So for the sake of simplicity, what I like to do is select all the pieces that I already did and just do a hide selected and hide selected will hide the portions of the UVs that I unwrapped and only show me the ones that I still have to do. And hide selected is going to be under display, show, I mean hide, hide uh, selection right here. All right, so next let's deal with all of these uh, pieces here. And I'm just going to select the top and what would be the fastest way to do this? So I think these are essentially clones of each other, right? Everything is the same. Maybe uh, we can just do them all at once by just grabbing the edge and I'm going to hold on the shift key just like I did before and just go around the whole flower and select all the edges first only in the bottom portion. So that takes care of that. I'm going to do the same thing here. Just hold on the shift key and go uh, around my flower and select all the edges kind of on the lower level. Just make sure I grab all of these. Okay, and next I'm going to move to the inner level and do the same thing again. Just trying to uh, select the same edges in this in in these petals. All right, so let's see. I believe I got them all. I'm going to go into my UV editor and just do a cut. And let's go ahead and just do um, unfold. And let's do a stack similar. And that didn't really uh, do much. So let's go ahead and do uh, unstack so we can look at them and try to stack them again. And it doesn't, uh, it's not liking the uh, stack situation here, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go with this and Maybe just for the sake of, um, let's go ahead and unhide all. So that's going to be under uh, display, show, show all. That's the same thing. And next what I would like to do is I'm just going to select all of these. And let's see if we just click layout. So that's going to lay it out for us automatically. If we wanted to test and see what our UVs actually look like as far as the density goes, we can click on this uh, button here. And that's going to give you a good solid understanding of how well your UVs uh, worked out. Because any portion of the model that has a problem will not have a uh, perfect square, right? So it's going to be stretched. So you can review it really quickly and see that this indeed is uh, pretty good uh, UVs because every all the squares are the same density or scale and none of them are stretched, right? So I'm pretty happy with this. I'm going to select my flower. I see a bunch of history. I'm going to clear my history. So now it's nice and clean. And at this point, uh, the UVs are done. And 
when I did say show all my cameras uh, showed up when I model I actually don't like to see the cameras I like to hide them so um, at this point it's ready to be uh, textured so we could jump into substance painter and uh, do a quick pass uh, there so let's go ahead and do that in our uh, next lesson